Yo, what the? F what is this? What is this? What is this? What? You know what this is? Seriously, this is Mighty is Number this? Nine. Mighty Number Nine. You're We're gonna do it. Welcome, it's kind of dark, but it's fine. We are we watching cutscenes? Is this is that happening? Uh, no, no, no. Don't need to. I mean, I can't hear. Oh my god, that's way too dark. It's that, pretty dark. Let we'll it turn that, out vivid. That should. Be. We we had to. I got worried because the transmission. I, can, I can't out. figure this one out. <laughs> Want that remote instead? Okay. It'll get better once we. Cause that, that's a dark room. But yeah, you asked for it. We delivered. One 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 guy asked. One for person it. asked <laughs> for it. That should let you know our standards. <laughs> All you have to do... That, All you gotta that, do is ask us to play a game. And then make a fan video. Yeah, that's true. You do gotta make a fan video. Thank you, Cyrax Master. It was beautiful. It was. And we loved it. And this is how you ask for things. Make us make us a fan video, and we'll... And then share it with six friends, and then tell them to share it with six friends, and then buy a Little Caesars pizza. Uh, use the promo code... Um, Darkroom Dark, Bebo. Dark... <laughs> Darkroom Bebo? Vivo. What is Vivo? That was from an unreleased episode of Smash Brothers. Like when we first recorded Smash Brothers 4, we made a stage and I was starting to I was starting to make it say Darkroom Video, but I just said Vivo. <laughs> Vivo. Oh god, I remember that. I still have the stage. It's a bit of an obscure joke. So obscure that nobody even gets nobody it except would. for me. Oh Jesus. So yeah, this isn't like a typical Mega Man game. It's a 3D adventure-esque. Kind of like a dungeon crawling. Okay, you know what makes me mad? What? Mega Man has a good voice in this game. Okay. Like, he sounds like... But, like... Mega Man 2 sounds like a girl. Really? Or Mega Man Legends 2, he said, like, he legit, I'm pretty sure, like, a girl is voicing him. Girl and like might be voicing this person. I mean, that's okay, that's fine, but, like... I don't like it when girls play anything in a video game. <laughs> well, there's something in that room. I don't think you can get in there, at least not right now. Well, I definitely can't. There's the map just... says no. There's just black that way. Alright, this game makes you use the PS1 D-pad, and I didn't like that, so I, I modded my controller. We still have to use the D-pad, but... Yeah, but like, a better D-pad on it that I took out of a different controller that actually has better diagonals. Use the square button to fire. Automatically lock on to the nearest target. No. God, no. All right, just hold it down. Well, you can't. No, like the uh, square. Oh, I didn't know you could. Yeah, he auto fires. Okay. Turn right there. I heard the second game controls a lot better. It does. I heard it actually has camera control and it uses the analog sticks. It, do it, it does. You don't have to use the L1 to make him turn like that. It's kind of you. You really just have to hold forward. Oh wait, do we? Do you have it set on L1 to turn? Yeah, because I have it set to uh, L1 to sh L1 and R1 to strafe. You have the the things set to. Yeah, I have them switched. Oh. So uh, if if we pass off, either we're gonna have to be switching back and forth, or one of us has to get used to the other one. Where are you going, Mega Man? I'm trying to explore. Like Jesus. I don't, like I don't think I think there's like literally nothing over here though. What? <laughs> I don't care. I, don't care. Oh, I gotta fight a reaver bot or something. Like, okay, even if it doesn't look good, I'm fucking Mega Man. This game is awful. Let look, me tell you. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. There's treasure down here. Just kidding. That's a mine. You no, know, you have to step on that switch. That's a mine. It's not a mine. It's a mine. It's not a mine. Be careful, Mega it's a Man. button. It looks oh. like they've got you surrounded. Maybe you get some free zennies. Whatever. Oh, you can turn around. With, with back in the uh, circle. I didn't notice that until like when I was playing a month ago. And you could do it sideways too. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing like to not gain from there. You... Do you see a door? Oh my god! Do you see a door, Josh? I don't. I don't see one. That looks just like a all the some stripes. I mean, doors in this game look kind of weird. Oh god. Oh boy. Kippur Gabor that shit. Here's the thing, though. Look at those wobbly. Here's the thing. This does. This gets gets better later. Like this doesn't happen. Yeah, it like like this is the only part in the game where roll constantly interrupts you and stops you from moving. Yeah, I mean it's a tutorial, so. And back then, game developers didn't understand the concept of skipping a tutorial. 
A lot of game developers don't understand that today. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm like... Ooh. The, like, I miss the days where a tutorial was a separate entity. Like, yeah. you choose to do a tutorial. Like, do you want to do a tutorial before doing this? Yeah, okay. I'll learn it. But then you have a bunch of people that skip the tutorial, and they're like, how do you play this game? This game is stupid. Well, that's their own fucking fault. Well, then the game doesn't sell. That's so stupid. Huh? A platform? Oh my god. That's a wall. Oh my god. You're about 90 degrees off, roll. Like, if you're too stupid to read instructions, like, you deserve to have your money wasted. It took me a while to notice the pun Fuck. in their names. So you have Roll, and you have Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man and Roll, you get it? You get it? What is their, what's their last name in this? Uh, Casket. Yeah, that's weird. Hold it, don't move! <laughs> this is weird! <laughs> they, don't ever, I don't, they don't ever do that again. We were lucky. It's only a reaver bot. Like, it's nothing to be scared of. It's like fucking Code Lyoko. Every time they see an enemy, it's the fucking end of the world. Even if it's the little grunt things. They're just like, oh my god, look out! You only have 700 health! Ugh! Foreheads! <laughs> That's Susie! <doozy. laughs> That's Now run directly into that. Is what you want to do. Mega Man, I'm picking up a reaver bot. This game is not really structured for us to take turns, so we're just gonna... Do it. Do whatever. Yeah. It's both of our game. We're just like, whatever. I'm sick of playing, you play, whatever. Who cares about this game? Yeah, I think because right now Resident Evil 4 is still kind of going on. Most likely. I can probably play a little bit more than you on this. Yeah. But you do have more experience on this game than I do because you've been playing it recently. Yeah, I didn't get too far though. I only got like. Did you get to the the part where you're on a boat? No, but I got to the part where you are at the boat rental place, and it's like our boats got stolen, and then I stopped playing. Hey, power razor! Attaching Buster parts allows you to power up your Buster gun. I like the way this works. Like, I like it's. I like it. Getting this game to work correctly with recording with the Elgato was pain, was a real pain. And I'm going to try and find a better way to record it, because I think there might be some quality loss. with Because I'm using the, uh, the SCART converter to record this, but I'm not using SCART, but that's the only way I could get the TV to play sound. Yeah. But it, I think it's, it's going to have that stupid deinterlacing filter on it. Which would be well. Mega Man, I'm actually, maybe Mega not, because Elgato is getting an interlaced image. I'll see. Recording PS1 games from the PS2 sucks. It's, it just we could, we could do what we did with. Uh, Are you all right? Can you hear me? Pikmin and just switch every episode. Yeah, I mean it works. It's a, it's a system. I mean it's a system, but then like, what if somebody's in a dungeon and then they're like, okay, so what were you doing here? This is the easy boss. I gotta do a strafe. I like to jump away because it seems more. Whoa! Whoa! You can roll. How? Uh, the circle button in a direction. Or. Circle button in the L and R. Yeah, I think it, for for that configuration, it'd be circle button in L and R. So we stole like an energy source or something. It was a crystal. I, I wasn't paying attention. There aren't subtitles. Look at him. He's, just, <clears throat> he's frowning. Hey, he's smiling. This game has some serious anime sound effects. Oh, this game is anime as fuck. Yeah. Like, in general. Yeah. But see, like, okay, what's the point of that thing coming back to life? Like, they're making it seem like it's a huge fucking deal. Yeah, like... But, like, it's not at all. You just... Yeah. He shows up in the cut. You don't come back to this part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those textures. Oh, my God. We're playing the superior PS1 version. Yeah. God, the N64 version. N64 version has bad textures and bad audio quality. Wasn't there something good about it, though? You could use the analog stick, I think. And I think it had extra content, maybe? 
There was something that made people say like both si both versions have their good things about them. I don't know. I am of the mindset that a 3D game that forces you to play on a certain like axis, you know, or like on a you know on a D-pad. Uh, yeah, that 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 sucks. I don't like it. But I think this game also came out before the PS1 had analog. Probably. He didn't actually fall. He fell. Like his legs are sticking through the. Don't lie to me. Look at these, this man. That doesn't happen on N64. Those fucking wobbly ass textures. That's one of the things I hate about PS1. Wobbly ass fucking textures. I'm trying to think of like other games that like are PS1 and uh, N64 like. There was a Mortal Kombat game. I think the Gex games. Uh, Freedom Force. I think that's what it was called. Freedom Force. Or Fighting Force. There was there. Fuck was this, I'm skipping it. There was. Your, your ship crashes. Your ship crashes and then... I want to play video games. I don't want to watch a movie. Your ship crashes on an island that you've never been to before. Oh yeah, called... Uh, Catalogs. This looks pretty bad. <laughs> Fucking Master Isn't Roshi. Really Barrel and roll. Here for quite a while. I don't... Hey, folks, so do it better. <laughs> do it better, roll. Yeah, come on, Fox, do a barrel roll. Barrel roll. I could do soon. better than that. Check this out. You'll be here for a while, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God, the fucking that, the fuck, man. Call it Mega man. Fucking furry bait. Fucking furries. A town or a city somewhere. He sounds like Master Roshi. Look around. Now I recognize this this bird loop from anywhere because of this game. All you gotta go is two town. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! What's going on? Oh, uh, I wonder why the police would be going to check out a down ship. The monkey's just dancing. Data. Well, you certainly put on quite a show. Oh, I forgot. But it looks like everyone's all right. All you gotta do is talk to him, and then it starts it. He ah, Mega Man. He says the exact same thing. Crash land and came to check up in the way us. that I just said it. Well, you certainly put on <laughs> quite a show. But it Good, job. Like Good job. Good job. Right. Good job. Good job. Let me welcome you to Catalox Island. Now. I'd like to ask one of you to come with me. To the, the audio balance is. Hey, right. he's looking at the monkey. We need you to pass yeah. an immigration. Yeah. He he he, he wants the monkey. He wants the monkey in the town. You can't enter the but, uh, without one. But the audio mixing in this Don't is bad worry. because, or like the volume long. balance, I guess. While you're waiting. Like they'll start out a sentence really quiet and they get really loud and it's you gotta play with the volume all the time and it's really city. annoying. Yeah. You don't need an ID card to get in there. You don't need an ID card to get in there. there you go, Professor. Feel free to buy things. Hey, hey this game, like... Whew. You can buy things. You can buy things. You can look on the shelves and then it has dirty you magazines. Can, you can kick a can. Kick the can. The in, best game. You can kick a can into the trash can or that lady's shop <laughs> and you get money for it. Wait, you can kick it into the trash can? Yeah. I didn't know that. I kicked it into the shop. Now, I've always heard that if you, like, do bad things over and over again... Mega Your Man, armor gets dark. I've never seen that, though. Yeah, it does. Like, I have I kicked the can into the store, which is what they said would do that, like, 70 times and nothing happened. You kick... N dude, no. You kick uh, vending machines until they break. Why would they do that? Because you get darker armor then. You look cool. You look like a badass. You look like... Kicking the thing into the store still gives you money. It does? Yeah. I think it's supposed I mean, to be a good thing does. to do. Okay, so there's something in that trash can. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can check that way. I just I just checked all of them. So now when you kick it, it'll it'll like yeah. So you gotta like, uh, if this guy will move. You just gotta do this like the right way. 
I'm pretty sure like I've done Kick it the already. Dog. I'm pretty sure I already did it. Yep. Nice shot. Keep, Keep our, streets, our clean. streets clean. Put trash, Put trash in its proper, in its proper place. What is the proper place behind a fucking food vendor? Okay, look at that. Look at what's happening. Look at what's happening. Oh, that your arm? Disappearing? Your arm and your leg. The wall is... There's, there's no... What is this, Dragon Ball Z? There's no Z buffer. Alright, check these with, with circle. That's novels. On the other side, I think, is dirty magazines. Yeah. Yeah. Might be fun to look at them. You're a robot. You can't. But, but you there don't are have so many people around. You'd get in trouble if somebody saw you. No, who, you're behind the bookcase, dude. There isn't even anybody in this shop. You could jack your robot wing behind there all day. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Man, this PlayStation, everybody. Old games. The thing is, is that nobody cared back then. <laughs> yeah. Like. Well, I will say that, like, the character-wise, this game has great art style. I agree. Character and vehicles. It goes for that low poly, unfiltered texture look, which worked better on PS2. Or, I mean, one. And then when they ported it to N64 and PC, they put a, a, a filter on them, which ruined the effect. Look at the shadows under her chin, you know? Like, and on her that's, dress and stuff. Like, that's, that's texture. That's not a lighting system. That's all in the texture. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. Is there a way to, is there like, tech speed? No. Turn it to, uh, that. I feel like it'd be better, you'd be better off getting used to that since I'm used to it already. Alright. It wouldn't be, it doesn't seem like it'd be too bad. Already. Damn. No. I was hoping, I'm gonna do this again just cause, like, you just have to, you, it, like, you do this in like three kicks. What? As long as you don't suck, you'll get it. Two. I don't think I got it. Three. Fuck. If you I think use, this is better, though. If you use the other one, you'll kick it with your other foot. Triangle. Oh. If I don't get it in on, like, the next two kicks, then I'm just gonna go. It's gonna hit the sign. Well, that... I feel like I have an opportunity now. No. Fuck it. Video games! So what do we do now? We go outside and on the next episode... What? Of Spider-Man... The... Maximum Carnage. Ma Maximum Carnage, I think. Wow, we... boy, you die! That's a, that's a Carnage boss from Spider-Man on the PS1. Oh, it was scary. Well, Maximum Carnage was like the only good LJN game. Ever. Apparently. Uh, hold on now. Did you not, did you say, okay, make it the last one, just in case. Because I really don't want mine to be... Okay. 